You don't mean you're going straight to our cave for some answers? What else would I be doing? I need to know why they were looking for Kawhi. Then I'm coming with. I can't just let you do that alone. Don't worry. It's still light out, and I plan on staying in the open. Besides, if I'm alone, they'll be more eager to talk. That may be, but still... I'll just call you about every ten minutes then. For your safety. I find that rather unnecessary. You sure? Oh, is that Sari-chan I see? To what do I owe this pleasure? Nice to see you too. Oh, hi. Say, aren't you one of Tok's lawyer friends? Does that mean he's on his way too? It's just me today. <sighs> Fine by me. That means you and I get some girl talk time. Oh, that stings, Mari. And here I thought I had a place in your heart. <laughs> well, no one knows a lady's heart like a bartender. I guess you can stay. Let's see. All these bottles got you feeling lost? Care for a few pours from Tox? It'll be our secret. Besides, a man with his tab can't complain. <sighs> You're too kind. So I'm actually here to ask you, how can I set up a meeting with R.K.? Darn. So this wasn't a pleasure call? Well, I'm glad you're at least enjoying the drink. True. And looking fancy doing it. Oh please, you two are going to embarrass me. My apologies. I suppose being surrounded by such beauties has a timeless appeal. Even at my age. I'll second that. Masuda here is looking at least a year younger. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a compliment? <laughs> of course. If you got any younger, you'd be much too handsome. What's a girl to say? And I'll second that. <laughs> Anyhow, if you're after an RK rendezvous, the good news is those guys are everywhere. But it's not like a civilian can just stroll up and ask, Hey, are you RK? And expect to get an answer. You got that right. And Sauri chan needs to ask them something that's kind of sensitive. Oh, that's certainly going to make things challenging. Just a bit, yeah. So I say, why not let the boys do the chasing? Wouldn't be hard for an enchantress like you. But honey, we need to do something about your... Look, some nice clothes and a little makeup and you'd be unstoppable. Finally, my turn to second something. I suppose I would need to look approachable. Tok told me once that if you ever felt like it, Sauri chan you could put every hostess in Kamrojo to shame. I've got to admit, I'm curious. Well, a good hawk hides her talons. You're saying I should dress like a hostess for this? <laughs> well, I'm sure there are other ways. But if you want a foolproof plan to snag an RK, you've got one. Oh, if you want, I can get you some looks. And you can choose what you like. I get the message. 
And I suppose I'll take you up on that. Okay, then leave the rest to me. Would you look at that? Doc was right on the money. I couldn't have imagined. You sure about that, Marisan? I hardly feel comfortable wearing this in front of you. What are you saying? You're so pretty. I wouldn't say so. Really? You're dynamite. Though, there is one thing that's missing. What's that? Pride. That's the final touch you need. Pride in your own beauty. Oh, well, I I'm not sure I have that. Then how about your pride as a lawyer? You have that, don't you? As a lawyer? Yes, there it is. Go ahead and take a look. Now that's the face of a girl who gets the man she wants. It's been a while since I've felt this way. I have you to thank for that. <laughs> These bad boys won't know what hit them. Now, let's go dangle the bait. You mean us, right? You bet. Two nightlife girls like us alone on the street literally brings the RK boys running. Especially along Senryo Avenue. Why don't we take a walk? Uh, are you sure? I, I don't want to drag you into this. <laughs> are you kidding? And miss the chance to see this makeover in action? But really, I want you to succeed. I promise I won't be a bother.
Excuse me, ladies. You, uh, get lost on the way to the beauty pageant? We're already out for a drink. Maybe heading to work somewhere in town? Oh, we're just two girls bar hopping by our lonesome. Isn't that right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, in that case, why don't you roll with us? I know a great place. You could drink all you want. Wow, you guys loaded or something? We can throw them back, you know. You sure? Hell yeah! There's a place my body runs. I'd be thrilled to see some ladies like you. You rugged boys are just my type, actually. But are you really that into older girls? Me? I'm your type for real? Oh, what happened to your nose? That bandage makes you look so tough and masculine. What's gotten into me? I'm such a mess tonight. <laughs> One too many, Sari-chan? Don't worry, Sari-chan. I love a hot mess. I'm one myself. Let's be real here. You're RK, aren't you? What makes you say that? Yeah. What kind of chick straight up asks if you're in a gang? Come on, it was just an innocent question. Besides, everyone already knows. Anyone worth a damn in this city's gotta be RK. And when you spot one, you just... How should I say it? There's a certain vibe to you guys, you know? True. Guess we do got that RK swag. I mean, yeah. We're just out here playing the game, you know? <laughs> and we ain't bad at it either. You gotta have a brain to work this town. So, if your ladies gotta choose, choose us. We know how to get ours. You boys certainly talk a good game. RK knows what's up, huh? <laughs> right? You must be pretty high up the RK ladder then, huh? Not just the local chumps? Not supposed to be blurting it out, but yeah. We're RK. And pretty high up, too. Shoot. RK wouldn't be what it is now without us. Never thought it'd get this big, either. RK has Kamurocho pretty much wrapped around its finger now, huh? Just about. The time of the Yakuza laying down the law is over. All that respect and chivalry shit. Dead, like all the old legends. Now the underground world is a jungle. And winning the fight's all that matters. Wow, must be hard. But I think that's hot. That reminds me. Weren't you RK guys looking for someone recently? A man who disappeared a few years ago? Oh yeah, him. We were looking for this dude who ran a girls bar. See? I knew you guys would know what that's about. <laughs> oh well, five years ago he suddenly disappeared. But that's not even news in Kamurocho. That's so crazy, though. What happened to him? You ever end up finding the guy? Nah, didn't work out. No surprise, he was just a punk anyway. Name was Kawhi. The way I heard it, some of his old friends rolled up on him one night. My guess is, it was trouble from another town catching up to him. Anyway, they argue for a bit, and it ends with the guy getting shoved into a van. And that's the last time anyone saw the dude. Whoa. What do you think happened? I'm thinking they bumped him off. 
If he was still breathing, he'd be back by now. I heard he never even picked up his final paycheck. My guess, he's fish food now. Or they buried him on some remote-ass mountain. You have any idea who would have done that to him? Don't know. They say it was ten or so people. Young. Both men and women. Doesn't sound like a gang thing. But who knows, right? It was five years ago. But if you heard all that, there must have been witnesses, right? So you're saying someone actually saw him get shoved in a van? Yep. Some chick working at his bar saw it all go down. At least that's what we heard from a guy who heard it from that chick. Where is this bar anyway? I mean some random dive bar half a decade ago? Who the hell knows? A hundred places have sprung up and gone under since. But then, why would anyone be looking for Shinya Kawai now? Did someone ask RK to find him? Think that's right? Hell if I know. It's a question for the top of the food chain. But hold on a sec. Can I ask you something? Huh? Just a minute ago, you mentioned a Shinya Kawai. How'd you know his full name when we never told you? Oh shit! You're only talking to us because you wanted dirt on Kawai. So who the hell are you? What do you think you're doing? Who sent you? I'm Saori Shirosaki, attorney at law. Unhand me this instant. Ooh, you're gonna sue? You think I give a crap about what your job is? I'm saying things will go very badly for you if you keep this up. Big talk for a chick dressed to the nines to get info. Huh? Sorry, chan Yeah. Don't even try to fuck with us, lady! Sorry, chan Huh? What the- ah! Beat it, punk. You got you, son. Asshole! I swear, these jerks are popping up like roaches. Uh, um... No thanks needed. Just be careful on your own, especially when you're beautiful. Thank you so much, Higashi-san. I just said you don't... Wait, how'd you know my name? It's me, Shirosaki, from Genda Law Office. It's been a while. Holy shit! No way! Man, I didn't realize. Shirosaki-sensei. I didn't recognize you. You look incredible. You're the one who is incredible. This is all my fault. I was the one who put Marisan in danger. You really saved us. <gasps> Young, strong, handsome. That's three out of three for me. Those guys were RK. Town's practically overrun with them these days. like, I can escort you somewhere safe. I got nothing but time on my hands. Oh, you don't say. Perfect. Who says we can't still salvage some fun out of tonight? Oh, uh, before we do that, let me call Yagami-san. Yagami's still a jackass, I see. When Shirosaki sensei calls, you pick up in two rings. It is strange that he's not picking up. I'll try again.
He was killed? Uh-huh. Kinda gives me deja vu now that I think about it. Here you have Kawaii and Mikoshiba, two known school bullies. And they both end up murder victims? That could be for a number of reasons. It's not rare for people to disappear in Kamurocho. Usually the trouble is money or women. Maybe that was the case for Kawaii. Could be. Okay. We'll investigate Kawaii a bit more on our end. With RK asking around, word on the street will be loud enough to hear. Alright, thanks. <laughs>